And with us in studio now, back from Gaza, safe and sound, is Matthias Inbar, defense correspondent for our sister French Thank channel. First of all, Matthias. F f terrific reporting, I Thank have you. to say, Thank really. You. Thank you, sir. Uh, let's maybe first explain to our viewers how that ca the the process, how that came about. How does it how does it work for you to go into Gaza with the troops? Actually, we've been um, uh, wake up at 6 a.m. We received a phone call uh, from the army to say, okay, um, are you ready to be embedded? So it took us a few hours just to fulfill documents. Um, uh, to go through censorship because a lot of uh, an, an information that needs to be um, uh, checked before. And then we went to a certain village uh, for security reason. We won't say the, the sure. village that uh, we, we started our trip inside the Gaza Strip, uh, a village that I can say suffered a lot from the October the 7th. Mm. And then the um, uh, Lieutenant Colonel Gilad just welcomed us and said, Don't don't worry, you're safe. We're going to go inside a war zone, but you, you're safe because you're under my hand. Mm. So it was very quick. We need right. to uh, wear sure. our vest, helmets, run inside a, um, the vehicle and go straight ahead the Gaza Strip. It took us more or less 20 minutes to be inside. When the door opened, we knew that we were in a war zone. Well, you could hear the constant uh, uh, gunfire. gunfire. Gunfire, there's gunfire everywhere. There, I can testify that uh, on a certain point, I thought that I saw someone in the balcony and some- a, 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 a potential sniper. Exactly, sniper, ATGM okay. uh, right. thrower, we, di we didn't know. Yeah. But there is a constant threat, More, much beyond than that. that my message tonight. Why the soldiers are, 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 are engaged into this war? They are protecting also the Gazan civilians. And it was, and, and I, couldn't, I couldn't think about that when I arrived, right. seeing Gazans trying to escape, some of them shouting to, to this IDF and said, help us, help us please. And I asked the soldiers, why are they shouting? Because some of the testimonies said to us, Hamas is shooting at us, they are trying to kill us. Preventing them from going to the south because exactly. they, Hamas still wanting to use them as human shields. Exactly, and one of the most emotional parts of the as a report. We are all together, dads, we, we have children. And seeing this commander shouting, if you are Israeli, if you speak Hebrew, if you are and, and hostage from foreign country in the middle of the crowd. Please run to us. And trust me, from the 10 seconds after he shouted, I was so driven as a human being, as a person, that someone could stop. But I want to explain, maybe just give the background on the viewer. You're saying they were concerned of Hamas maybe trying to smuggle exactly. the hostages out of Gaza City uh, down into the southern side mm -hmm. of the of the of the uh, of the Gaza Strip. Exactly. And 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 we were. I can I can testify that, hand, like dozens of soldiers were around me. And we were glued to the scene. We count one, two, three, five seconds, and we 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 um, we were praying that someone should stop and say, "I'm a hostage," or right. that we won. It didn't happen. Right. We we hope for them. Well, that is a risk. Rescued. That is a risk Israel is taking by allowing exactly. these civilians to move uh, the stream of civilians to move to the south. And I can testify. This is a war zone. And, and although the IDVO spokesman, um, Daniel Agari, said the north is under control, yes, the north, of, the north part of Gaza is under control. But uh, we saw the second part of the report. There were a very sensitive, complex attack with right. multi-battalions from the air, from the ground, from the armed corps, against multiple position of Hamas, who were... Uh, throwing ATGMs and sniper and everything that you could dream of. That's a war zone. Right. I have no uh, other um, explanation. Right. Another thing that struck me in your report was the morale, the motivation, the sense of mission and purpose by the soldiers there in the field. You know, as an Israeli, as a soldier, usually you don't have to justify yourself. You just follow the orders. But now these youngsters, 20 years old, right. they are not, most of them that I met today were not reservists. 
Right, they were... They were uh, youngsters. Right. And they said to me, why my father, my uncle, my sister were, 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 were slaughtered inside Israel? That, that's my duty. Right. That's my duty. And one of them, actually, he's 20 years old. Uh, right. Almost was, was surprised by his um, maturity. Mm. He said to me, my, grandfa my grandfather and mother died during the Holocaust. Okay. I'm here. That will never happen to us once again, what happened, the program of right. October the 7th. All right. Uh, uh, I'll just lastly note, we see the devastation firsthand the, there in the Gaza Strip and the battle zone. Uh, a final word, Matthias, before we have to let you go. When I saw the buildings and, you know, we, we saw all the, the strikes. And when I saw the building, I asked, that was my duty as a journalist, to ask why right. did you strike these buildings? And they said, <clears throat> the, one of the commanders said, do you, do you see this building? Yeah. It was booby-trapped. Right. Do you see this building? It was before that, a kindergarten. They found rockets. They found uh, batteries right. of, of, of ATGMs. What can I say about that? Right. Uh, it is a battle for their fighting for the, their lives and, of course, the lives of all of Israelis and their hostages especially. And my last word, yeah. it was very weird. At the last moment, I saw Zderot, I saw Ashkelon. Yeah. From the Gaza Strip. Oh, it's so close. Wow. Matthias Sinbar, thank you for thank you for your work today and thank, thank you. you for joining us.